Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man. Welcome to this. It's my first part of my second half of the Thorncraft 2.1.1 uh, Guide to Discoverers and Knowledge. Apart from this, this isn't a guide to discoverers and knowledges anymore. I've moved on to essences and seals and all sorts of different stuff. That little contraption you see in the background there, I will get to. That is the final thing I'm going to be covering. The first thing I'm going to be covering today is this little part. Um, let me just get rid of these. I don't need these anymore. Right, this part here I'm going to show you how to make all the different essences and uh, exactly what they do with each other. Basically, you can see there. Now I've got little uh, labels on them so you can see. But there isn't just this. I mean, this is what they do all of the same type of essence. So that's when you put all magics together. Uh, that is when you put all airs together. That is when you put all waters together and so on and so forth. This is what the every single individual uh, combination you can make is. Yes, there is a lot of them. And uh, I'm going to be covering each one in a different part. I'm not going to just bamboozle your brain with everything. Um, I'm going to do this today, then I'm going to cover the magic side, then I'm going to cover the air side, and everything in subsequent videos. And then this little contraption that you see here, um, you will see last. Because I'm, I'm quite proud of that, actually. I never realised I could do something like that, but uh, the joys of Thorncraft. Right. I'm still on the back end of this cough, so if you hear me go, if you hear me mute myself a little bit, then uh, it's probably because I'm going to have a cough. It is quite frustrating, believe me, um, trying to record with a, a bad throat, but uh, needs must. And we're going to start with this by going to the void chest. I put them in void chests because uh, uh, I can actually label them. I can't label normal chests unless I put something above them or you know in front of it. I can't stick a, a label on it. So how you make an arcane seal is quite simple. Piece of gold and a piece of redstone in your infuser. Wham bam thank you ma'am you have an arcane seal. That is the basis of everything. You cannot put essences down without an arcane seal placed first. So that's that little red thing that you see there. Okay. So you get arcane seals, but then you're thinking, well, I need to put essences on these. How do I make them? Well, this is how you make the magic essence. You've got to get golden nuggets. So the best thing to do with that is to get a gold ingot. And I'm on creative, so it's not going to work. Right. And uh, put it in your crafting thing. And you get nine golden nuggets. Hence the reason why I've just shown you there. You also need nitar. So get yourself some redstone and some glowstone in the infuser. Like that. And that will give you nitar. So the nitar, the golden nuggets, and the last is a crystal of the desired essence. So if you want a magic crystal, it is the vise. Uh, if you want a magic essence, sorry, it is the vise crystal. And you gather them up like that. Golden nugget, nitar, and your crystal. Put it in your infuser, and you've just made yourself two essences. It's important to remember that you do make two, so don't forget about that. And everything is more or less the same, you know, golden nuggets, nitar, and vaporous crystal there to make air essences. Water essences is the aqueous crystal in there, the earthen crystal for earth essences, the fiery crystal for fire essences. And the dark essence, you guessed it, it is the tainted crystal. You will also need a crystal ball, which is this item here, to figure out exactly what you're doing in this. So that is how you craft a crystal ball. That is a vis detector. And if you don't know how to make one of them, have a look at my uh, my first season, my Let's Play, my first season. I do actually make one of them. And I do make a, th a thermometer. Uh, on there as well just in case you was wondering. I don't think that these are locked in any kind of way these essences but uh, that is the crafting recipe as you see it there. That is the way it shows you how to make it. 
And that gives you this little baby, which is a crystal ball. And that will help you uh, to remember all of these. Which, you know, without it, I wouldn't, yeah, I'd be lost. Um, but just excuse me for a sec. Apologies. Right. Starting with the magic essence. This is the one magic essence with nothing on two and nothing on three. Basically that means one magic essence just by itself. You can place three essences on an arcane seal in a certain kind of combination to get different effects. The first, this is the magic essence by itself. If you get the crystal ball and just click on the arcane seal in the middle, it will tell you exactly what it does. This seal positively charges the local aura at a slow rate boosting any thermic devices operating nearby. This has no effect on the aura rating. Okay. Um, this one. This is two magic essences, one placed down, then another placed down on top of it as well. Nothing placed in the third slot. The seal boosts the speed of nearby thermic devices. This has no effect on the aura rating. So it just does thermic devices, not the uh, positively charging the um, aura as well. The last one, all three together, three magic essences, that's one magic essence, two magic essence, and then three magic essence placed on top of it. That gives you this one. The seal greatly boosts the speed of any thermic devices operating nearby. This has no effect on the aura rating. So there you have it. That's the magic essence tree, if I'd like to call it. The next one is the air essences. Now this is one air essence by itself. It emits a weak blast of air that blows items and creatures away. This is two air essences. It emits a moderate blast of air that blows items and creatures away. And three, mag uh, three air essences. This seal emits a strong blast of air that blows items and creatures away. So just so you can see this. I am actually, my uh, cursor is flickering a little bit, so you're probably seeing some lag, but hopefully it's not too bad for you. Now you see the cows being blown away there, just around the corner. Nice and simple. Right, on to water essence. This is one water essence. It hydrates the soil within a large uh, radius. This is why the soil's been tilled, but that's the earth, and we'll get to that in a second two water essences together has no effect there are some that do actually do that and three water essences also has no effect there are some that do have no effect so just be aware of that when you're looking through here if you do different combinations and you click on different things like that it could say you haven't learned this yet or whatever it is um, or you know this seal has no effect so just something to keep in mind the next is the earth essence. <coughs> okay, one earth essence. The seal uh, tills the earth within a short radius, which is why the ground is being tilled as we, can sp as we speak. Two earth essences together. It's a moderate radius now. It tills within a moderate radius. And you guessed it, the last one is a large radius, which is why this is being tilled right up to the back of there. The next one is fire essences. Okay, so one fire essence emits a short range cone of fire at nearby enemies with a minor area of effect. So a little area of effect and two fire essences. Emits a medium range cone of fire with a moderate area of effect this time. And three fire essences. The seal emits a medium range cone of fire at nearby creatures with a large area of effect. So let's just try that again with our cow. Sorry. Oh, and it just got absolutely cremated there. Note that it does actually drop to cooked meat, which is very, very useful as a defensive tool in your Thorncraft world. The next one is Dark Essences. And these do absolutely nothing by themselves. The Dark Essences are mainly modifications to certain combinations that turn the effect onto the player. And because it's dark, it's not good. I've got to tell you. Now this little thing here, I'm going to go, I'm really, really proud of this, but this little thing, uh, I am really, really proud of that I finally got up and running. 
and something that I'm going to be looking at and thinking, yes, actually, I'm probably going to use that in my Let's Play world because this is the way forwards. And I've started my Season 2 and I've got something... Well, I'm going to put this up before season, before that episode, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. But uh, Season 2, I've got something in the making with that at the minute. Now I've learnt it, and uh, I'm happy with that. Right, the next video, I'm going to be covering magic rune combinations, and that's when you start mixing essences. Now, I've done every single combination. This first column here all requires magic as the first essence to be put down. So you've got the arcade seal, and the first one will always be magic within this row. And this is actually quite useful. Guess what it does? You could use that. I'm probably going to use it. We'll see. Yeah, next video will be magic room combinations. If you have liked this video, please like it. If you love it that much, you can also favourite it. Um, and... Like I said in previous videos, if you haven't told your friends about this and they're struggling on Thorncraft, then uh, point them in the way of this video because it will give you uh, up to date, hopefully, uh, news on like little bits and bobs of what's going on with Thorncraft. Any changes that come up, I will call. I will also cover them. Um, you know, providing I can actually cover it and uh, it doesn't elude me, as if sometimes it actually does do that. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you've got any friends, then uh, point them in the way of this video, uh, and hopefully I can help other people, because Thorncraft 2 has an air of mystery around it, and if you're one of those people who like the mystery, then I don't know what you're doing watching this video, because I've just spoiled some of it for you, but uh, never mind. Um, but, you know, these this, these sets of videos are for the people that want to be informed, that uh, don't want to find it out for themselves, that just want to get on with it, and... Um, you know, I'm one of them people that just want to get on with it, but first, I had to go and discover all this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I've basically done all the work for you. And there are people in the comments who, who put me right sometimes when I go wrong, and also I add little bits and bobs into the conversation as well. Um, so, I will see you for the next part, which will be Magic Rune Combinations.